You're sure it's here? I have it on excellent authority. And that would be? A man who purchased the information from a man who won a bet with a man who swore on pain of death that it's likely not anywhere else. I stake my good name on it. Jack, your name is synonymous with weasel. Then how did I ever talk you into this? That is a mystery indeed. My guess is, with darling Elizabeth to care for, you need the money. Good guess. They've stashed treasure chests about. Take what you can, give nothing back. Who are you? What are you doing here? Quiet! Someone is watching us. There they are! Long enough, you dallying swine! We've been hiding in that swamp since sundown! I'll be pulling leeches off me nether parts for ages! Ah, stub. Your verbiage always conjures up such a lovely visage. The treasure should be behind that door. Into the treasure room we go! Bring forth with that battering ram and place her against the door! There it is. Skull of Teowakata. What's he got to smile about, I wonder? It's beautiful. Aye, it is. I expect I'll see a handsome price for it. Are we having pronoun issues? <laughs> Thanks for all your help, gentlemen. But we won't be needing you any further. The convicted stand before us. One Will Turner and Jack Sparrow. Captain. Captain Jack Sparrow. How could I be so stupid? To be hanged for Double the crossings. Commission of crime. Occupational hazard. The I'm, bread of which I'm not talking about them. I was a fool to throw my lot in again with you. Piracy, oh, so I'm to blame then. Drunkenness, treason, arson, pillaging. There's a very good explanation for that. Kidnapping, looting, poaching, brigandage, pilfering, depravity. Total misunderstanding. I had no idea she was a woman. <laughs> Depredation, chicanery, disregard for public safety, sailing under false colors, and general lawlessness. And for these crimes you have been sentenced on this day to be hanged by the neck until dead. Define dead. Where did you get all that? The crimes of Captain Sparrow are notorious. Among our many sources, we have a detailed account of your recent criminal activities in the town of Port Royal. Criminal activities? Nonsense. Port Royal would have been burnt to cinders were it not for my heroic intervention. Your heroic intervention? He was there too. Look, you got it all wrong, mate. At least give the condemned a chance to set the record straight. I suppose you may be permitted some final work. If that is how you wish to spend it, so be it. Good man. Now, while your false account depicts me as an enemy of Port Royal, it was I, in fact, who came to the rescue of said hamlet when it fell under siege by cursed pirates of the Black Pearl. I was partnered, through no fault of my own, with the young blacksmith Will Turner, who stands beside me even now, as unjustly sentenced as I. Jack, this isn't how it happened at all. This is my story, boy, so shush. Keep your head and be grateful to have it a while longer. We've got work to do.
They're launching more boats from the Black Pearl. We have to stop them before they reach land. We can use these cannons. Let us in, Puppet. Puppet. Let us in, and we promise we won't hurt you. We won't. Shut up! Go away! There's an entire section of British soldiers in here guarding me. Is there really? It's a wonder I managed to get past them then. You can run, dear, but I'm the only one present who means you no harm. Stay with me, you've got a fighting chance, Savvy. Ever use one of these? Why, yes, and I've also used these! Oh, that's interesting. No pressure, darling. You worthless lot! <laughs> Javel. We're leaving! Touch a lot of it! But you were in prison the entire time! I freed you myself the next morning! It seems my accomplice is in a hurry. Would anyone like to hear what happened next, or should we just get on with the hanging? Right then. After our narrow escape, Elizabeth was absconded by a band of ten. No, twenty. Fifty pirates. Fifty? She was brought aboard the Black Pearl and taken to Isla de Muerta, which you won't find on any maps, so don't bother looking. With no ship of our own to give chase, Will and I were forced by circumstances to take actions that some might consider piracy. We set sail aboard the Interceptor, a brisk and sturdy vessel formerly the British Royal Navy. We're hardly moving! Doldrums, mate. Unfortunate turn of events for your imperiled maiden. A ship! A galleon, on its way from the Spanish main. They're approaching with oars. Are we at war with the Spanish? Evidently. Oi. I am Don Carrera de la Vega. Why do you fly British colors? That is a stolen flag. Overcome with remorse, we are even now on our way to deliver it back. Esto es aún mejor que un buque británico. Capturemos piratas! Oh, excuse me, kind sirs. I require a moment. <laughs> Montezuma's revenge. Now? Now. We can do this. We can escape. Possible, though improbable. There is still a small army below with his royal incontinence. We need to reach the Interceptor and make it likely these lads can't follow. <laughs> It, Jack. Oh, that's interesting. Those plates are a problem. It could take a thousand hits from our swords to smash loose any one of them. What, 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 what is this? Could two lone pirates have bested the pride of the Spanish Armada? Outstanding! One does not find worthy opponents every day. Make your peace with God, gentlemen. Do now face Don Carrera de la Vega, the master of the thousand strike spin. Call off your men and let us go in peace. El tonto fue abandonado. Capturenlo. Jack, do you speak Spanish? Jack. Sorry, mate. Saw an opportunity, couldn't pass it up. Your friends left without you. I will have to punish you twice as hard. You do not deserve to die quick. You will be put to work in the silver mines. For the rest of your miserable life, you will never again feel the warmth of the sun. Bloody pirates. Faster, scum! Work faster. Tell me you didn't miss me. Jack! 
You look wretched terrible, boy. You should take some pride in your appearance. You left me for dead! I should wrap these chains around your neck! Well, that would make it difficult. Make it difficult? To unlock them. By Poseidon's throne, I thought I'd never see another living soul! They threw me down here for a wee bit of youthful pillaging. A pirate am I, but I can see so are ye. There's another down here, like me. Free him too, and we can help you get out of here. I'll be waiting by the ice platform. There are legions more of us trapped in these mines. You two go ahead and clear the way. We'll stay behind and free the others. The Ava Needles are using the munitions carts. Musketeers, fire at will! After our interlude with the gentle folk of Spain, we resumed course and sailed to Tortuga in search of a crew. Scarlet! Not sure I deserved that. Get him, boys! Well, look at that. Duck. Don't be ridiculous. That's not a duck. It's a... Duck! Jack Sparrow. Captain. Filthy scum. You've got a lot of nerve showing your face in Tortuga after what you've done. Yes, absolutely. No lo contendere. I apologize, and since we're on the subject... Could you jog my memory as to what exact... I know that scent. It's a pig. No, worse. Gibbs. Who's Gibbs? Our first mate, blessed with a highly inadequate sense of smell. So, you and your wet-eared lackey be spoiling for a fight, eh? Lackey? Well, guess what, boys? You found one. Ah. Ah, my leg! Oh, you blooming cockroaches! You broke in my leg! Dreadful, sorry. I know the name of a good peg-leg man. Uses whalebone. Top quality. Best in Tortuga. Jack, I think we found your man. Well, Jack, I do say I be feeling agreeable to your proposition. Then you'd be agreeing to be our first mate. Agreed. Can you find us a crew? Not to worry. <laughs> There's bound to be some sailors on this rock crazy as you. One can only hope. Take what you can. Give nothing back. That's a powerful brew has been concocted. It's hit me something fierce. He doesn't look well. Let's get him out of here. Thanks, boys. I feel several measures improved. I'm off to recruit some sailors. But there be two in this tavern I'm in no condition to find. It's Mr. Cotton and Marty the Dwarf. They'll be through that door. How will we recognize them? You'll recognize Cotton from the parrot he keeps at his side. And Marty the Dwarf. He's got a fighting spirit, I tell ye. Several sizes larger than his size. Go round them up, and I'll meet ye back at the ship. This bugger's parrot insulted me! Bring me that bird or I'll cut him good! We spoke to Gibbs. He said you'd join our crew. That I will! That I will! Rawr! Nothing better to do! Rawr! Phew! 
Thanks for getting me out of there. If you ever need my help, I'll be by the docks. By the way, watch out for my brother, El Grande. He's Pequeno's right-hand man, and he's looking for you. Ha! I found you! The boss has been looking all over for you, Jack Sparrow! Wild guess. I take you to be El Grande, Marty the Dwarf's brother. How do you know who I am? Family resemblance. Enough jokes! You are finished, you scurvy dogs! My servant informs me you are carrying an item that you wish for me to buy. Indeed. My servant informs me you have an archer's bow aimed square at my red and beating. Is that how you do business, then? Servant? Jack, I don't even know what I'm doing in this story. I never went with you to Formosa. Not now, boy. Show her the goods and be quick about it. Where did you get the dragon's eye? Does it really matter? No, it does not. Bye, Jack Sparrow. Pleasure doing business with you. That's not nice. You shouldn't even call me Captain. Shall we give chase? After you. Hand over the dragon's eye. Where did she go? Keep up, lad. That's no longer our most pressing issue. Now where did that pilfering strumpet get off to? She must have gone through this door. We'll need to break through the barricade. I suspect one of these fine citizens has a key, after a fashion. We are notorious pirates, and regrettably, we must steal one of your pilgrims. Or we can buy. Now that was impressive. Almost impossible. Improbable. Both. I can see Tang's temple. This way. Follow me if you must, Jack Sparrow. But you will never leave this place alive. What say I merely trail you at a discreet distance, then? Up. Mighty dragon of the ages, use this ruby to feed upon the souls within these walls. Then rise and do my bidding. Make me Empress of the World! Ah! You rogues have interfered for the last time! Cannot be defeated by mere pirates! What? No! No! That seems rather decisive, don't you think? We'll have to suss out another buyer. Help me pry this thing. Jack, I wouldn't... I think we should leave. No, I think we should get out of here. Like the other statues? It wasn't a dragon yet, I speculate. Our mischief interrupted Tang's spell. 
Magic is among the most finicky of science. Fine then. Let's get out of here before the creature returns. I'd sooner fall on me blade. I swore an oath to Pequeño, and my word is gold. But surely Pequeño, if you were here, would not wish to subject you to such peril, and would release you from your oath. Nor would he wish to be here. So why not do him a favor, and renounce the oath in absentia? Jack, what is this nonsense you have me saying? Yet you say it so well. Next to commentary, and let us proceed. So that's how it happened, eh? Every word shiny and pristine. And you return empty-handed? And sore-footed and broken-hearted. I see. Excellent. Then we're square. Aye, forgive and forget. I have resolved to be magnanimous, to rise above and all that. And we laud you for it. I'll just be sinking your ship now. I want you to know I saw that coming. The Interceptor! I've got to put a few holes in it, by way of recompense, you understand. Be feeling much better afterwards. Say goodbye to your chip, Jack! <laughs> In point of fact, that ship belongs to His Majesty, the King of England. Be that as it may, it seems you be the one sailing in it as of late, aren't ye? Why own when you can rent? Saves on maintenance. Nice try. George the Cannons! Fire away, you scurvy sea dogs! Ye had not have stopped me, Sparrow. Now I have no recourse but to be taking me vengeance directly. Uh. Uh. No! That is painful. Some things cannot be unseen. Was that the Interceptor? None other. Gibbs, what's the bearing? I feel a bit of a chill. Oh. You're dead. And you're dead. You're all dead. I'm not dead. Ye gods, Glacier. Why do things creep up out of nowhere? It happened during the night. I know not how. I was in the hull mending a sail. Hello there, gents. Might you be amenable to pointing the way out of here? We seem to have drifted off course. Jack, they're going to blow up the ship! In some cultures, this is an aphrodisiac. Might be worth keeping. Hmm. Even more interesting. Most interesting? This horn could help us free the Interceptor. Aye. 
And it might serve our finny friend as well. Back to the frozen lake. Objectives updated. That's putting your flukes into it. It's moving awfully quickly, isn't it? Beg pardon. Man overboard. Lost it all, that was brisk. Put a hot stew on. I need something warm in me belly. You'd think there'd be some thanks. A word of appreciation. Pirates, not big on gratitude. Soon after our Arctic escapade, we reset our course and came to the dreaded Isla de Muerta in search of Lady Elizabeth. Save for this. 881 we found, but despaired of ever finding the last. We've paid the blood sacrifice owed the heathen gods, and now it is only her blood must yet be paid. Begun by blood, by blood undone. Will, lead her back to the ship. I'll keep these scallywags at bay with a point of me blade. We can but humbly surrender to your dashing bravery and superior swordsmanship. Well then, that certainly makes things easier. Have you gone mad? Your account couldn't be further from the truth. Elizabeth escaped on her own. It was you taken captive by Barbosa aboard the Black Pearl. Yes, of course. So helpful to have you by my side, correcting my inaccuracy. Oh, it is an honor indeed to have you back aboard me ship. My ship. Jack Sparrow. Captain. The man who vanished from under the eyes of seven agents of the East India Company. The man who sunk a French war galleon with naught but his cutlass and a diving bell. The man who sacked Nassau port without firing a shot. Mustn't leave that one out. I have often wondered just how you managed to pull off such a trick. Ah, therein lies a tale. Nassau. Lovely town. So much to see and do. But I'd picked a rueful time to visit for the eve of my arrival. The town came under siege by Black Smoke James, named for the cloud of black smoke he created to baffle his enemy. He was desirous to appoint himself magistrate of the island, a detail of grave concern to the man who a priory held the position. What am I doing here? You're in charge of pulchritude, spunk, and a sense of moral righteousness. Try to keep up. <coughs> <coughs> Got a good mouthful of that, I did. <clears throat> good heavens, no! It is you! You are here! Please do spare my life. I will do anything! I hadn't planned on not sparing your life, but I'm willing to listen to offers. I surrender Nassau. I will give you my title and full authority over the island. You can have everything. We are at your mercy. Do you reckon they're always this accommodating? Don't you get it? He thinks you're Black Smoke James. I have been trying to better my posture. Go on, say something. What do I say? I don't know, just don't get us killed. Aye, you be not worth the trouble to darken my blade. 
Accept your surrender, I do. Away with you, says I. Cooperate, and I will be merciful, and call off the siege. Call off the siege? How do you intend to do that? You're not actually Black Smoke James, you know. Must you always leap right to the minor floor of the plan? I shall go and speak to him and appeal to his sense of reason, that's all. You may use whatever persuasion comes to mind. Thank you both. I owe you my life. You can repay your debt by helping us quell that fire. Consider it done. Uh, hello, Black. <laughs> and who might you be? Think you're a clever scallywag to dare address Black Smoke James so? Only in so far as. He's the magistrate of Lassau's appointed negotiator, here to discuss the terms of surrender. <laughs> Letting the lady do the talking, are you? Aye then. Out with your terms. Safe passage for all the townspeople. They'll leave out a fort by ship, and you'll not put a hand on one of them. <laughs> Take note, boys. We've a real spitfire before us. So. You'll be wanting them to leave unarmed, I take it. That's right. Well, let me ask you. Was it for not? Oh, sorry, dearie. But I'll be granted no one safe passage. And that includes you. Blast these bill traps into oblivion! All's well as ends better. The arrangements are made. You must leave at once. Oh, bless you, sir. I will gather the townspeople, and we'll be on our way. Jack, what are you doing? As my crew of bloodthirsty scoundrels be a bit restless, best let us escort you for the ship. This is a letter of mark from the Queen granting control of NASA. Guilty plunder. I can't do it. We are getting out of here. It's a shame about their ship sinking like that. You're not as heartless as you make yourself out to be, are you, Jack? Let's not forget all I've gained. This town belongs to me now, Seth. Oh, it does, does it? Well. Being on account of who you was pretending to be when you made the deal, and seeing as who I am, that being the man you was pretending to be, I'm inclined to differ. Run! Jack! Ye bloomin' cowards and fools! Have ye not yet noticed that ye've wandered onto the deck of the King George's Amnesty? This be my ship. And I'm not looking to add any more crew. Huh? Curse you a thousand times, Jack Sparrow! I'll not see you skewer this day, no. But another one. I... You've my word on that. You spin a lovely yarn, Jack. Would that a word of it were true. Captain, we're coming up on the interceptor. Take him back to his cell. <laughs> Give that back! You want this, do you? We'll come and get it. Stop those cannons from destroying the interceptor. There are powder kits stowed away in those lockers. I'll wager those two are holding the keys. You want to get past me, gentlemen? Let's see you give it a try. Jack, he's got the keys to the brig. The keys! He was wearing them! Up. 
Let us talk as the desperate, needful, pitiful creature we are. I've got something you want. You've got something I want. What do you say we make a clean trade of it and go our separate ways? My expectations started off low and have been fulfilled. The medallion! Didn't suit his complexion. How do you do that? Let's get back to the Interceptor. Get down there and finish this. Now we get the monkey. Why, thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Not you. We named the monkey, Jack. Gents, our hope is restored. The situation was grim. The not very often heroic Will Turner had handed himself over as Barbosa's prisoner, while I was marooned once again on Rum Island. This time with the Lady Elizabeth at my side, which improved the view dramatically. Nevertheless, we had no hope of escape. We've no hope of escape. Don't say such things, love. There's always a way. Oh, and what way is that? Well, there is this treasure map. Jack, we're marooned on an island. What use have we for finding treasure? Have we got anything better to do? I suppose not. What does it say? Yo-ho, says I, and fair hunting to ye. If it's treasure you seek, on Rum Island you'll be. To start down the way, breathe deep, then stay calm. The entrance is clear from between two crossed palms. Oh, that was easy. Those spiders are of enormous size. Up. Wonderful. May I point out, however, that we're no less marooned than before. Ah. But now we're marooned and rich. One time I hope to find a treasure that hasn't got a curse on it. Just once. Let's get out of here! We're back where we started. And none the better for it. We'll never get off this island. Hello, turtles. Must I tell you again? There is always a way. Utter rubbish! Elizabeth got you off Rum Island by creating a bonfire that signaled the Dauntless. If it weren't for her, you'd be nothing but a pile of bleached bones on the sand! With haste, we return to Ila de Muerta. Our goal, to rescue the ungrateful Will Turner from the villainous pirate Barbosa and his wretched crew. You two stay here. The Commodore's staging an ambush. D you? He doesn't want getting hurt. You? He doesn't want getting in the way. I live to help. Shut your mouth! Do you 
think our soldiers heard that? No. Looking for this? <laughs> he, he threw it overboard! <laughs> You're next! You're next! Um... Quick! Grab that eye! We can use it for a bell clapper! And people look at me askins. This is our chance. We have to get onto the island and rescue Will. Follow me. They'll be expecting us in the caves. So we take the path round the island and go straight to the cursed treasure. Where's the cave entrance? Right there. Used to be. A mediocre plan augmented by fortune. Story of my life. Save Will. I'll hold them off. Be gone by blood. Excuse me. By blood. Jack! It's not possible. Not probable. Deal with them, boys. And I shall flee to where the living cannot follow. You're looking a bit scurvy-faced. I could say the same of you. This curse best be one we can undo. So what now, gentlemen? Will it be three immortals locked in epic battle until Judgment Day and the trumpets sound? Hmm? Or you could surrender. Ten years you carry that pistol, saving its shot for my demise. And now you waste it. He didn't waste it. I feel... cold. Well, that appears decisive. You hungry? I still feel undernourished. Where's Elizabeth? Oh, she's fine. Left her attending to some details what needed tending to. No worries. Now, if you'd be so kind, I'd be much obliged if you'd drop me off at my ship. With the curse lifted, the heathen gods' unholy pact was complete. The island was swallowed into the sea, taking Barbosa, his men, and the treasure along with it. 
never to be heard from again. As for us, we just barely escaped with our lives so that we might lose them here via the nooses you have so generously provided. And that, dear listeners, is the end of our tale. Lovers reunited, villains vanquished, and those long dead avenged for the wrongs committed against them. Captain Jack Sparrow, your story is one that we will pass along to our grandchildren. Thank you for sharing it with us. I'll kill them both. That's it, isn't it? We're doomed. Your story. It got us nowhere. It was all a waste of time. Waste of time? Precisely. What do you mean? Have you not been paying attention? Elizabeth? Where? How? That's for running off without me. But I... I hate to cut short the reunion, but the locals seem a trifle displeased. Right. Let's get out of here. Ah, Stubb. If only you guarded your prize with the cleverness with which it was absconded. We took our riches, spent it like fools, but one item we could not part with. In time, our blood turned cold, and our limbs stiff as boards, at the onset of rigor mortis. But the pain, Jack, you can't imagine it. We looked to the skull, and we knew we were cursed men, bound forever to its vengeful will. Now it wants you both as well. And what it wants, it compels us to acquire. If this wasn't happening, I'd swear you were making it up. It's the life of a pirate, mate. Best get used to it.